In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a website in Dreamweaver CS6. Okay, here's the original default screen for Dreamweaver. And you'll notice on the right hand side we have our different windows. And the one we want to get into is the files one here, but it's rather small, crushed down here at the bottom. So we're going to double click on the Business Catalyst tab to shrink that down and we'll do the same with the CSS styles. Okay, It gives us a much um, longer view of files. Once you you have a number of files in your website you'll appreciate the length. Now right here where it says desktop to the left of manage sites we can see that we can uh, have a local view of files by drive and folder etc. But what we want to do is actually managed sites so we can click that at the bottom or we could have just clicked there and we don't have any set site set up at the moment but we will click on new site right here and this site is fallingstardesign.com that will be building and the local site folder we can click on the little folder icon here that says browse for folder to define that, go to computer, drive V is where we want it. I've already already got the folder created, fallingstardesign.com, we'll double click on that, and choose select. Alright, so there's our path to the local site folder. Now, uh, under servers we can set up our FTP server we can click on the plus here server name tends to be your do name, domain name We're going via FTP at this point help if I spell these things correctly. FTP address again tends to be the domain name. Username. This is the kind of thing you'll get from your host. They'll give you all of this information. Okay, so we put in our username and our password and we click on test and it will see if it can connect. Dreamweaver connected to your website web server successfully. Great. Click OK so we know that we have good information up at the top. Now on my server I happen to know that uh, the root directory for the website is going to be uh, forward slash which means start at the root HTTP docs um, for other hosts, it might be public underscore HTML or something similar, but um, web URL. No, we don't want that. Don't let it add the root directory bit onto the end of your web URL. Typically, that's not going to be needed there. That will actually break the URL. And um, under more options, Looks like we can leave that alone here for basic setup and we click on save. Okay. So we've set up our server, version control. I'm not we're not going to worry about that for basic site. And under advanced, right, default images folder, we'll leave that alone. Links relative to document that makes the most sense in general design. Case sensitive links checking is a great idea if you're on any kind of a Linux, Unix type server. Uh, not so important on a Windows server. Cloaking, I prefer to turn off as well as design notes. Otherwise, click save and we've set up our website for editing. We click on done and what we have here now under files is 
our website set up. So if, if you know, we had many of them, would they be fallenstardesign.com and whatever else was there? But this is our only one, so we got keep that selected. And here at the top, that that just means that we're at the root of it. Uh, we we can pull this along here. We can pull that edge out here if we want to see more information. Gives us the path information, etc. Okay, so um, your site is set up, and if you wanted to right away start working on a page, you could simply say File, New. Okay, start with a blank page, HTML page, if that's what you're wanting. Click on Create. All right, and before you start editing a page, I always suggest you save it. So say File, Save index.html tends to be the name of home pages. Click on save for that and you'll see that that shows up in the site. Okay, So as you save pages they'll show up there in the root or if you create folders and specify them they'll go in there. But that is the basics for getting started to begin creating and editing a website in Dreamweaver CS6.